time for Mr. Pat. It's time to learn with Mr. Pat. He's gonna break down all the facts, like who and where and why is that. So tell us how it works. What's that, Mr. Pat? Hey, family. Looks like I'm lost. I use my radio to call for help, but it looks like they won't get here for a while. In the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about one of the most fascinating subjects in the world, the oceans. I am currently stranded in the Pacific Ocean. To the east is the Atlantic Ocean. Then it's the Indian Ocean. Up by the North Pole, we can see the Arctic Ocean, and by Antarctica, we see the Southern Ocean. Pack a jacket if you visit those last two oceans. Woo! Otherwise, you'll freeze, baby. Even though they are connected, the five oceans are still very unique. Here's some fun facts about each ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. And because of that, 70% of the fish that are caught come from the Pacific Ocean. Whenever you eat seafood, it probably came from the Pacific, man. The Atlantic Ocean is connected to many rivers from the Americas, Europe, and Africa. Why is this significant? Well, when rain falls on the ground, the water eats away at the land and causes minerals and salt to dissolve into the rivers. These minerals then flow into the ocean, causing salt water. Since the Atlantic is connected to so many rivers, it's the saltiest of all the oceans. The Indian Ocean is the warmest of the oceans since most of it is located in the world's tropical zone. Man, I wish I was stranded there instead of here. The Southern Ocean is the world's youngest ocean at only 30 million years old. It was formed after the Antarctic and South America drifted apart because of something called Pangaea. But that's a subject for another video. In the Arctic Ocean, there are a huge number of icebergs which break from giant bodies of ice called glaciers. They might be pretty to look at, but don't get too close. The last thing you want to do is hit one of those babies. Now that we talked about what makes each ocean unique, let's look at some of the animals that live in the oceans. In total, the oceans are home to over 200,000 known species. Some animals stand out a lot like the massive blue whale or the great white shark. But other ocean species are tiny, like plankton and krill. Of course, there's likely even more ocean animals out there, since scientists believe that only 5% of the oceans have been explored. Man, that's nothing. So how do we discover more of the ocean? Well, that's where you guys come in. If you're interested in researching or exploring the ocean, then you'll be happy to know that there's lots of jobs available. You could become a marine biologist and study ocean animals. You could also become an oceanographer and study ocean water itself, analyzing how it affects the world's coast and the weather. Oceanographers and marine biologists mostly work in labs, but also conduct research in the oceans by diving or using submarines. Wait a second, what's that behind me? Oh snap! It's the Coast Guard! I'm saved! Alright family, looks like it's time for me to go! See you guys next time! Peace!